How is it I got the stone, sir? One minute I was staring in the mirror. And the oh, next. you see, only a person who wanted to find the stone, find it, but not use it, would be able to get it. That is one of my more brilliant ideas. And between you and me, that is a something. Hi, and welcome to Reader 10. Today's lesson takes us to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. In this lesson, we shall study two scenes from the movie and get to learn useful vocabulary and grammar that will enrich our English conversations and write-ups. Now, as you may be aware, one of the advantages of learning English from different movies and TV shows is that you get to learn practically how various words and expressions function in real-life situations. And this helps to boost your fluency in the English language. Now what we will do is that you will get to watch the scenes with subtitles after which we help you study some of the keywords and expressions in there. Then we do a little test on what we've studied. And then finally, you get to watch the scenes once more without subtitles. Alright, let's get started. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true, Albus? I'm afraid so, Professor. The good and the bad. And the boy? Hagrid is bringing him. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? Ah, Professor, I would trust Hagrid with my life. Professor Dumbledore, sir. Professor McGonagall. No problems, I trust, Tagrid. No, sir. Little tight fell asleep just as we were flying over Bristol. Try not to wake him. There you go. Albus, do you really think it's safe? Leaving him with these people. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. They really are. The only family he has. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. Exactly. He's far better off growing up away from all of that. Until he is ready. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true, Albus? Rumor. First of all, this word could also be written as R-U-M-O-R. -R. Now, R-U-M-O-R -R is mostly used in American English, while R-U-M-O-U-R -R is used in British English. And there are several words like these in English. Here are a few examples. Neighbor, flavor, color, labor, humor. Now using either the American or British versions of the words is widely accepted. My advice, however, is to be consistent. If you choose to use either the American or British spelling in a write-up, like an essay, stick to it throughout the write-up. And let me know in the comment section if you know any words like this. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true? Help us. So, rumor is a piece of story or information that is passed from one person to another and which may or may not be true. Here are some synonyms of rumor. Gossip. PSC. Tittle tattle. He had heard a rumor in London that Sir Walter Elliot might be led to marry his daughter's companion. So the lady professor asks, Are the rumors true? Help us. And the reply was, I'm afraid so, Professor. The good and the bad. I'm afraid so. In other words, yes. But why did he say, I'm afraid so? 
Now, I'm afraid so is actually a polite way of agreeing with a disappointing statement. For example, did you fail the exam? I'm afraid so. In other words, yes, I did. Another way of saying the same thing is regrettably so or unfortunately yes. On the contrary, you can also say I'm afraid not to mean no. So you don't always have to reply yes or no to questions that demand a yes or no answer. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? Ah, Professor, I would trust Hagrid with my life. Here, yeah, notice how the professor used the word would. Now, apart from being used as a past tense of will to express intention, would is also used to express want or desire. For example, for example, he that would lead must first serve. Meaning, whoever desires or wants to lead must first learn to serve. Would you be willing to swear before a judge and jury, having placed your hand on the good book and taken an oath before Almighty God himself? Note here that would is not being used here as a past tense of will. It is being used rather to express some want or desire. No problems, I trust, Hagrid. No, sir. Little Tyke fell asleep just as we were flying over Bristol. <laughs> tyke, or Tyke here, means a small child, referring to the baby Harry Potter. Just little Tyke last time he was here. Sure. Albus, do you really think it's safe? Leaving him with these people. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. Muggles. In the world of magic as portrayed in the movie, muggles refers to people who do not have any magical ability or what we would call ordinary people. While people with magical powers are called wizards. You told me my parents died in a car crash. A car crash? A car crash killed Lily and James Potter? I have to say something. It's an outrage. It's a scandal. He'll not be going. Oh, and I suppose a great muggle like yourself's going to stop him, are you? Muggle? Non-magic folk. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. Exactly. He's far better off growing up away from all of that. Better off. When someone is better off, they are in a more desirable or advantageous position. So, in this instance, it is more desirable for Little Potter to stay with this family than perhaps the previous one. And note here that the expression is better off, not better off. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now, in a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. But before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Now, while you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the house cup. Trevor! Sorry. The sorting ceremony will begin momentarily. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now, in a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. Mates. Mates can mean friend, partner, fellow, spouse. It can also refer to someone with whom you do or share an activity. So, for example, a roommate is someone with whom you share a room. A housemate is someone with whom you share a house. A teammate is someone who plays on the same team as you a playmate is someone with whom you play i believe by now you get where i'm going with this so a classmate would be someone who is in the same class as you at school everybody this is our new classmate holly Nagel. 
Now, in a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. But before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. Take your seats. Now, to take a seat means to sit down. And I'll take the opportunity to introduce you to other similar expressions like find a seat, which is used when you're looking for a seat. And then you can ask someone to save you a seat if you want them to reserve a seat for you as, for example, a concert or a movie theater. Also, when you arrive at a place and find someone sitting by an empty chair, you ask, is this seat taken? Not is someone sitting here, as most people usually say. Now, in a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. But before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. To sort means to put a number of things in order or to separate them in groups. For example, I had to sort the books according to the author's names. Now, sorts can also be used to refer to a category of things or type of person. For example, he is not the sort to complain, meaning he is not the type of person who will complain. But before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. Now, these are names of houses into which the young students were to be sorted. You should know that according to the story, these are the names of the four greatest witches and wizards who lived thousands of years ago. Now, let me know in the comment section which house or hall you belong or belonged to at school. Now, while you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. Earn and lose are what we call antonyms, meaning they are opposite in meaning. To earn something means you acquired it by your efforts or actions. However, to lose something means you failed or were unable to acquire or keep the thing. Now, you should be careful not to confuse lose with loose. This is lose with a z sound at the end, and this is loose with s at the end. And also, loose is the opposite of tight. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the house cup. Cup! Cup. Cup in this context as in competitions, is an object given as a prize to a winning team. An example is the World Cup. In Hogwarts, Harry Potter School, however, students from the four houses compete for a house cup, which is the prize given to the house with the highest number of points for bravery and academic achievements. The sorting ceremony will begin momentarily. The sorting ceremony is a ritual performed at the beginning of every school year to group first-year students into their respective houses. To do that, one of the professors at the school places the sorting hat on students' heads, which will then assign the students to various houses based on the students' thoughts and personalities. Now, here's a little practice test, after which you get to watch the scenes once more with subtitles. Evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true? Help us. No problems, I trust, Hagrid. No, sir. Little tight fell asleep just as we were flying over Bristol. Albus, do you really think it's safe? 
leaving him with these people. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true, Albus? I'm afraid so, Professor. The good and the bad. And the boy? Hagrid is bringing him. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? Ah, Professor, I would trust Hagrid with my life. Dumbledore, sir. Professor McGonagall. No problems, I trust, Hagrid. No, sir. Little tight fell asleep just as we were flying over Bristol. Try not to wake him. There you go. Albus, do you really think it's safe? Leaving him with these people. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. They really are. The only family he has. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in that world who doesn't know his name. Exactly. He's far better off growing up away from all of that. Until he is ready. Really, goodbye after all. Good luck, Harry Potter. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now, in a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. But before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Now, while you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the house cup. Trevor! Sorry. The sorting ceremony will begin momentarily. Thank you for watching. If you've not subscribed yet, kindly do so and give the video a like if you learned something from it. If you have any questions, kindly drop them in the comment section and we will get back to you. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep reading, keep changing your world, one book at a time.